Okay, so this is section 8.2 uh, representing a linear function. So let's take a look at an example that's from the book. Let's say it is uh, f of x equal to negative 3x plus 2. And it says give a verbal representation. So the verbal representation is to multiply multiply um, <coughs> negative 3 by x and then add 2. And so there's my verbal representation. If I want to make a numerical representation, that's a table. So then that would be where I have x and f of x. And then I'm given some numbers to use, like negative 1 for x, 0, and 1. And I put these values in here. So negative 1 would make this positive 3, so this is 5. And this is 0, so this is 2. And then if I just make it 1, that's negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. So now I have a table uh, that's showing for, uh, my numerical representation. And then if I plot the points, so I plot them. So here's my graph. And I plot them, I go negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so here. And then I have 0, 2. And then I have 1, negative 1. Okay, you can see how it goes down 3 units. And it goes to the right 1 unit. It goes down 1, 2, 3 units. And to the right 1 unit. So there's my linear line. So this tells me another way of how graphical representation shows me that I'm graphing a linear function. Uh, let's take a look at another one that we could do, which is, um, which one did they ask us to do? It is, Problem number, um, uh, I got lost, I can't find myself. So we're doing 71, so 71, okay, so 71 is, uh, let's don't do 71, let's do, um, let's do 74. So here's 74 in the book, it is f of x equal to 3 fourths x. So we were to do a verbal one. It was just say multiply by uh, 3 fourths to x. Okay. Or multiply 3 fourths by by x. Over here this is an x, not y. Okay. <coughs> and so if I graph this, this is x and f of x. And so I'm going to pick nice numbers like things that are divisible by 4 since the denominator is 4. So I'd say negative 4, 0, and 4. Okay. And so now if I want to I put them in, I have negative 4 divided by 4 is negative 1, so that's negative 3. And then 0 makes this 0, and then 4 makes it 3. So now when I graph it, okay actually graph this, then I'm going negative 4 and then negative 3. So right around here, and then 0, and then 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 3. So something like that. So you can see how it's it's going up 3 and going to the right 4. It's going up 3 and to the right 4. And so this tells me that this is a linear line. Okay, So that's really nice. So it's another example of showing all the different representations of that this is a linear function. Okay.